Hi, this is lesson five of our seasons and weather unit. We're going to read about autumn. Whenever you hear the word autumn, whenever I'm reading, pretend that your hands and fingers are leaves and make a little motion like the leaves are falling from the trees. Now it's time to discuss our vocabulary. Chill means a cold sensation. Progress or progresses means to move forward or continue. And shed is a little building that's outside, usually in the backyard, that you hold things in to store stuff. Okay, I wanted to remind you the purpose for listening is I want you to be able to tell me the changes from summer to autumn. If you need to go back and listen to the summer story, the link is still up, and you may do that. Okay? What clue in the picture tells you it is autumn? Pause here to answer that question and discuss. You start when you're ready. Dear kindergartners, eventually the warm weather of summer ends and autumn begins. <coughs> Kids are back in school in autumn. Autumn officially starts in the middle of September and includes the months of October and November. By autumn, the air becomes cooler than it was during the scorching or very hot summer months. It might still feel warm on some early autumn days, but there's a slight chill or cold sensation in the air at night. And by the end of autumn, it can be really cold during the day and at night too. As autumn progresses or moves forward, the days get shorter and shorter. The sun rises a little bit later and sets just a little bit earlier each day. By October in Washington, DC, many of the trees, leaves, don't look so green anymore. During autumn, most of the leaves on the trees turn from green to bright yellow, orange, red, or brown. It's so beautiful. Last autumn, my family took a trip to the mountains near Washington, D.C. to enjoy all the colors. The air was so cool and crisp, we had a great time. Look at this picture from our trip. The forest, as far as the eye can see, are bright and fiery with color. Within a few weeks after the leaves of many trees turn different colors, deciduous trees begin to shed or lose their leaves. That's why another name for autumn is fall, because autumn is when the leaves of deciduous trees fall to the ground. The grass is soon covered with a blanket of brown leaves. Do the leaves change color and fall off the trees where you live? Pause for discussion and play when you're ready. If they do, you can do the same thing the kids in my neighborhood do. We rake up all the leaves into one enormous pile and then jump in it just for fun. The leaves make soft, crunchy cushions. If you travel for a few hours outside of Washington, D.C., you will start to see farms. Autumn's Autumn means harvest time for farmers. It's hard to work being a farmer. All summer, farmers have been caring for their plants while they grow, watering them and making sure the weeds and bugs of summer do not ruin them. Autumn is the time to gather fruits and vegetables in the field. When they have harvested crops, the farmers all get together for a really fun event, the county fair. My family goes every year to the nearest county fair, and it is incredible. The farmers all bring their best vegetables and animals to show off how good they are at growing vegetables and raising farm animals. I took this picture of the pumpkins at last year's county fair. The fair's judges had already come by and judged them. Which pumpkins do you think the judges like best, and how do you know? Pause for a discussion and play when you're ready. I wouldn't get so excited about the fair if it were only about vegetables. There are lots of fun rides and all kinds of foods, from cotton candy to corn dogs. Some people also take their ch chances playing games to win stuffed animals. Once, I won a gigantic teddy bear. It was so soft. By early November, the air outside gets chilly in Washington, D.C. 
Sometimes the skies are clear and sunny, while other days are gray and cloudy. The wind blows more than it did during the summer. The autumn winds sent dry, crunchy leaves whirling and twirling through the streets and parks and whispers that winter is coming soon. In late November, oops, here we go. In late November, as the autumn season is gradually winding to a close, comes one of the most important holidays in the United States, Thanksgiving Day. On this day, people in the United States like to gather with their families and friends. In my family, my grandparents and cousins and uncles and aunts from all over travel to have Thanksgiving dinner together. I always look forward to a grand feast of turkey, stuffing, potatoes, rolls, and cranberry sauce with pumpkin pie for dessert. Then my cousins and I play football in the yard. Thanksgiving Day is very close to the end of autumn in Washington, D.C. By that time, the trees are bare, the leaves are raked, and the air starts to feel very cold, especially at night. <coughs> We are once again at the beginning of the cycle of seasons. Now we've talked about every season and their different characteristics. What will I tell you about next? You'll just have to wait and see. Your friend, Annie. Pause here for discussion and play when you're ready. Pause here for discussion and play when you're ready. Pause here, play when you're ready. Pause here and play when you're ready. This is what you will add to your journal. Here is a sentence to write underneath your picture. And this is a little extension activity that you can do. Thanks for listening all about autumn. See you next time. Love and miss y'all. Bye.